Hello, my darling Fumi Nation. How are you? How are we? My name is Fumi Desaluvold. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, you guys are so very welcome. Some of you might know, some of you might not, but I am having the first ever meet and greet. Oh my God, I'm having a meet and greet. I'm getting to meet you guys. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You know, as the time gets closer and closer, I'm just like, I get to meet you guys. <laughs> I get to meet you guys. We are going to have such a fabulous... Okay, 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 okay. Start from the beginning. So, it's going to be on the 16th of April. 16th of April happens to be my birthday. We didn't plan it like that, but we wanted a Sunday. And that Sunday happened to be the one that was available for myself and my collaborators, OPV Beauty. OPV Beauty is fabulous. I love them. They sponsored my last event that I had for Fumination last month. And so it just turned out to be 16th of April. So on the 16th of April, which is a Sunday, we have a meet and greet here in London. The link is below. Uh, you will see the event bright there. We're going to have food. We're going to have drinks. We're going to have snacks. We're going to have cake. We're going to have champagne we're gonna have sister to sister three episodes of your choosing whatever topic that you would like for us to discuss we will have that for an hour long we're gonna have a step and repeat and it's not going to be that kind of oh hi guys or whatever I'm really sitting with you guys and we're talking and we're laughing and um, I think I'm just so honored of the growth of the love of the support I don't know where I thought this channel was going to go when I started. But you have, you've made it so much, so much more than I ever expected. Adrian wasn't even born when I started this channel. And I have so many of you that say, my son, my daughter is called Adrian. I was pregnant when you were pregnant as well. I also just had a baby at 48, 49, 47. For me, you've liberated me to go ahead and do what I want to do. What you guys don't know is that you liberated me. Because the numbers didn't lie. And I took that as a direct interpretation that you liked what I was doing. And somehow it made me feel like I was on the right path. So, come on to this meet and greet. Because actually it's for me to say thank you to you. I don't know why I'm getting emotional, but I, I, it just hit me. It just hit me. And um, that's it. That's it. It's no big fanfare or whatever, you know. It's just really to say thank you and to spend time with you guys. Because um, opportunities are presenting themselves. And um, I'm really grateful. I'm really, really grateful. All right, talking about um, really being grateful. Guys, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe because YouTube has let me know. I keep on saying it all the time. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe because we are 600,000 plus. But we have 1.2 million viewers that run through this channel every week and month. I said, say what? YouTube let me know. I was like, what? <laughs> We're at a million. You're at a million. They're just not subscribed. I said, what? I said, I'll let you know. So that's that. All right, my lovies, we are talking about Ariel Foster. Ariel Foster is a university track student. And I'm sorry to say that she got arrested because she's being charged with stealing nearly one million in credit card scam. In a matter of eight transactions, eight transactions, she tallied up over half a million dollars. In eight transactions at her job at Lovisa, a jewelry store in the Burlington Mall last month. Burlington police said the transactions were fake and that she marked items up in price, returned them for the original price, and put the difference on her credit card. She is very smart. Authorities said that she then spent five thousand on a Louis Vuitton purse, about six thousand on Delta Airline tickets. 20,000 for a hotel in Maui, Hawaii. Girls living large. And then bought a Telsa for more than $35,000, the police said. During her arraignment Friday, 
The prosecutor revealed new information saying Foster tampered with the security cameras in the store. Then, when investigators started digging more, the prosecutor said they found the fraud happened on even more dates than they originally thought. So what started as half a million dollar larceny accusation nearly doubled to almost one million. Oh my God. If found guilty, she could spend up to five years in state prison. She's due back in court for a pre-trial. And um, according to documents, Foster eventually admitted the scam in an interview with investigators and apologized. Uh, Lazar police disclosed to Burlington police that she had been the subject of investigations into smaller credit card fraud to pay tuition, the document stated. Hmm. The police told WBZ-TV Thursday that Foster got loose with her work and rang up an order for one million but never cleared it out. A co-worker saw the amount and notified the police. And that was how she got caught. She became careless. Pretty girl, pretty, pretty girl, Ariel Foster, at 19 years old. She also went onto Instagram and said, look at how I flex. I love Lovisa. It's a jewelry store. I bought a lot of fun stuff from there. And um, I am just surprised that she was able to do all of this um, and get away with it for as long as she did. I don't think, I don't think that this is her first time at all. I think that she had been doing this and then she had been getting um, more and more courageous. And um, she just wanted to show off on Instagram all the things that she was buying, all the things that she was doing. This is how I flex on Instagram. And it really is sad. She did all of these things and she got away with it. And I believe that she's been doing this for a while. She's a beautiful girl, really, really pretty, really pretty, you know, cute girl with her braids and everything. As a matter of fact, right now, I can kind of see Netflix doing a movie about her, Lifetime doing a movie about her and everything. Yes, I can really see it. And um, I think what drew my attention to this was when, you know, it was written somewhere where she was showing off on Instagram. She was showing off her bag. She was showing off her car. She was showing off her holiday in Maui. Of course, top, top on everything. And... I want to tell you guys because I see this all the time. Instagram is not real. She did all of this to show off. She doesn't need it. You don't need all of these things. But you want people to idolize a lifestyle that doesn't match up to what you're doing. On top of which, things do not bring happiness. Things do not bring happiness. I have, I know a couple of people that I went to school with, university with. They had to have the best, oh my God, the bag, the this, the that. It didn't bring them happiness. They really didn't amount to much. And you want to give off this lifestyle, this persona that doesn't exist. It doesn't even exist for me. I wish you would believe that. I love makeup. I love hair. I love getting dressed up. And I'm able to do that because I dress up for the channel. Because I feel like if you are coming up here to listen to what I have to say, at least be presentable for me. But I have a real life. I'm a mom. We got bills. I go to the grocery store. I use um, Adrian's old stroller. And Christina can testify to this. I put all the groceries in there and I walk home. Because I love to exercise. I love when the weather is wonderful. I love to be outside. But I'm not dressed like this every day. I am not. I don't carry designer bags and this every day. No. Because I have a child and I have to think of his future. I have to, we have, it's so, it's so, to me, it's so important to have savings. 
just in case anything happens or you need something, you have that to draw on. That your bills are paid, that you have a mortgage, that you can plan for the future. That's it. And do you know, because I've had this discussion with my other friends, it's funny because for a very, 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 very long time, I just didn't have any money. Didn't, you know. I struggled all my acting years. And when Ula and I were struggling with Adrian, all of our money just went to fertility treatments. And so I've learned to really just live, you know, bare minimum. And so I love going to sales racks. I've told you many times before, you know, I live at Zara, at H&M, Mango, High Street. If I have one or two designer pieces, whatever, trust me when I tell you, you understand? It's like a treat for myself. And I say, okay, I get this A, B, and C. Other than that, I really don't care. I don't care if, you know, it, it doesn't... It does not change me or make me feel bad, good, indifferent if I see another person with all of these fabulous shoes, bags, this, that. No, it does not. Maybe, is it because I'm older? I've always been like this. I have always been like this. And I've had friends that have been terribly materialistic. Because it's fraud. She's not going to have a record that will be there for life. She's 19. She's not even 20. She's going to be 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And this will be on her record. And she will look back and realize what a wrong move this was. I'm so happy she got caught before it got worse. Because she's going from little, little stuff to big, big stuff. I hope that she can channel her intelligence and use that for her and make a living out of that where she can earn a lot of money and buy all of these things if it means a lot to her. But I want to say this to all of my young little beautiful girls out there. Birkenbag doesn't mean nothing. It doesn't mean a bag does not make you. Tesla car does not make you. Beautiful diamonds and jewelry does not make you. You on your own are enough. And if you have talent, and if you are a wonderful, good, honest, decent, hard-working person, that is what people will draw from. They won't necessarily draw from what you have. Not the good ones, not the lifers. It's the people that will want something out of you that will come and say, oh, she got this, or where did she get this money from, or whatever. They might even damn me, I want to take advantage. But you gave it to them because you're showing all of these things. Not to make any light of it or whatever, but do you remember when Kim showed her wedding ring? And that was what they wanted when she was robbed in Paris. Because when you show stuff like that, you attract the wrong people. All across the board. I have one or two things. I'm not going to come up here to be showing here and there because that's not about me. It really isn't. And you girls are so, you're so impressionable about social media. How they dress, how they look, plastic surgery, the boyfriend, the lifestyle. Some of you can kill for it thinking that's important. It's not important. And beautiful Ariel, as you can see, she was living a fraudulent life. With all that she had, she, I guess, is the best person to realize that Instagram is a fraud. Because she was a fraud. Instagram only picks the highlights of people's lives. Highlights! The best part! Doesn't take the day-to-day -day grind. It does not. And I guess it should. We are normalizing so many things. I'm really going to normalize Instagram. I look at it and I enjoy it. But I don't take it to be real life and I don't want it to be my life and I'm not aspiring for that to be my life. I'm older. Some of you, I could be your mom. I could be Ariel's mom. What would I tell Ariel? Ariel, what are you doing? You're an athlete. You do track. You could earn the money that you're trying to steal. And you're a thief. 
And if you can lie, you can steal. My father used to tell me that. If you can lie, you can steal. And it's a shame that you put onto everybody. Didn't I not raise you well? Did I not tell you? Did I not, not show you how to behave? How to work hard? Your life is just beginning for you. And then the amount of money, 19 year old with a million dollars that you did not work for, that you're stealing from a hard earned company that have built this brand, that took your little butt and said, you know what, we will hire you. And you go there and you steal from them. That is very bad. That is very bad indeed. Very, very bad. And let the record show that it will tarnish, it will tarnish and hopefully not throughout opportunities that should have been open to you. You have tarnished that because you want to flex for the gram. Well, guess what? You're flexing for the gram now. Do we care? No, we don't. No, we don't. It's a heart mess syndrome. Girls, learn from Ariel. Um, she got out on a thousand dollar bond and she'll come back in May. I don't want her to go to jail. Call me soft. That will not... How will that help her? I want her to be punished. But I wouldn't want her to go to jail. I'll see how it plays out. You guys remind me, okay, when that time comes. She should be punished terribly. But I don't think we should, you know, send her off to jail. Um, learn from these girls. Learn from these guys, boys. Don't think you're too smart. You're not smart. You're not. You will get caught eventually. And it can destroy your life. It's not worth it. It's not worth it for sure for the gram. For Instagram, it's a hot mess. Don't do it. Don't do it for TikTok. Don't do it for anything. If you want to impress somebody, impress them by you doing well in university, you doing well in college, you doing well with your talent, whether it's music, whether it's athletics, whether it's science, whether it's computer science, show and flex by doing that. All right? Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and I will see you guys sooner than later. Okay? Be good. <laughs> All of my love.